Is this thing on? Are you ready, Matt? You're listening to Box Office Avengers with Matt Diaz and Ernesto Santos. Good evening, folks. We have a wonderful evening's entertainment lined up for you. We know each other. He's a friend from work. So now we're going to move over to our foreign film of the month. It's a, a Russian film, and it's called Sputnik, that is available on Hulu. All right, are you going? I, th- I think I, you already teased it, so I kind of like would like for you to go first. Okay, that's fine. Um, I didn't like this movie, Ernesto. You didn't <laughs> I? Did not. Okay. <clears throat> I uh, the 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 beginning. Okay, I. I don't want to discredit uh, – you said that somebody recommended you this movie, and I'm assuming because they recommended it, they enjoyed it. And I'm not going to say that – you know, I'm not going to entirely shit on this movie because they found a reason. You recommended this movie to us, and we're doing our due diligence because you recommended it for us to view this movie. Yeah, but if you didn't like it, you didn't like it. Right. That Yeah, that is correct. But I don't want to, like, entirely just crap on it because somebody else, you know, did watch it. But they – for them, they said that this movie was like Alien, but Russian. And I I did not see that at all with that description. So, yes, I agree with you. I think the only the, – the tie was how the – how that thing, like, adapted and came about. Like, how he, mm. how he would exit. Well, and even that – even that was – really different which i thought was good but i felt like there was that one element the the incubating the using the using the human body as a cocoon yes yeah i i, I guess yeah i i see where they were coming from but honestly when i started the movie i was literally taking that sentence literal and I'm like so okay that. aliens but russian here we go <laughs> and then and then literally like the first five minutes of the movie they're like oh they're on earth well, this is not aliens. Well, not aliens. <laughs> Maybe it's Prometheus. <laughs> Maybe. Let's let's continue to watch and find out. Um, the beginning of the movie was a little slow for me. Yep. Yeah. Um, I obviously it picked up when we started seeing the monster, and I was very confused of a lot of different things. Uh. Primarily the romance that was – I felt like there was a romance brewing between the – what what is her profession? The A psychologist? Yeah, uh, she's, like a psychi- she's like a psychiatrist or of some kind because they originally recruited her to evaluate him to say that he was good so that he can just be released. Right, but obviously that was not the case, and, yeah. but they knew that already. They knew there was an alien living in this guy, which was – Somewhat surprising to me because I did not expect him, the alien, to be living in this. And then the the, the kind of the movie kind of peeled some layers, some more. It's like, oh, this thing has a consciousness. Oh, I. And the big twist was when the astronaut's saying, oh, I know everything that's happening that's going on once this alien's outside of my body. And I was like, he is that thing. Well, he well, is he the said, thing. He said he's he is the monster, but without any like inhibitions. He's just right. like, acting yeah. on pure animal instinct. And so that was a. Uh, I was like, oh, okay, that that was an interesting twist, I, to some degree, to the to the point. Um, but like I mentioned earlier, how a movie, the ending could really like save a movie. <laughs> that this was not the case for this one. I feel like the ending really killed the movie. I which did part, not. Which part of the ending? Uh, well, where do I begin? I'm kidding. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I think when when we started escaping from. Uh, well, the whole idea of just escaping in general, I was because okay, I think my problem was that I didn't understand everyone's motives for sure. Mm. I didn't understand what the military guy his motive was. It's like like I did I didn't know he wanted it for a weapon. Like it felt like you were generally concerned, and it, again, you can maybe call that a twist, but there was no way like his attitude didn't feel evil enough to make it seem like he was like he wanted bad intentions out of 
this. And uh, to me, your whole point was you wanted to extract the the monster or the alien out of his body so this guy can live, not to use it as a weapon. When did that come about? Like it didn't it didn't flow right with me. Mm. Um, and and then with the doctor, you were doing this to get a Nobel Peace Prize. But what was your prize about? Extracting an alien from a body or the weapon that this military guy wants to use? Well, and well, what? Well, he or both. Got, he, he couldn't have got a Nobel. Well, not for a weapon. Well, I don't know. I yeah, I don't know either. And so that was confusing. And then this this lady's curiosity uh, of just like kind of you know examining this uh, this alien. And then it felt like you were developing a romance to to the astronaut, or in this case, the cosmonaut. Um, and then all of a sudden, this need to escape, where the hell did that come from? Like, I, w- when did we want to leave this facility? Technically, in my opinion, and then I was kind of like, you know, thinking about it. I'm like, okay, you want to leave the facility because... She wants uh, to see if they can separate so that they so, can live. And if that thing comes out in the sunlight, it'll die. Right, but you couldn't do that there? Like, did no one want this, this to happen? I, I was very confused of that, I was like, I, th- I thought this. We wanted the alien and the human to separate, not, not to make this as a weapon. So that's kind of like where I was frustrated with the movie. What about you? Well, I think the military guy, he wanted to keep them together so that the thing can get stronger and then learn how to live on its own, so that they can control it and use it as a weapon, as like a, as like a super soldier or whatever. I see. I, I didn't get that at all. I thought they wanted just to use the alien as a weapon, but I guess that that kind of makes sense a little bit. Okay, so uh, for so for me, I get, I liked it a little bit more than you did. I didn't okay. love it, but yeah. I thought it. Was, I did think it was a little long and it was a little slow. Yeah. But I thought some of the I thought the way they made the look the monster was kind of cool. Like he was kind of a, like a slimy exoskeleton thing. Although he had he did kind of have like a strange king cobra head thing going on like like the big like triangle head or whatever i don't know but it it was it was all right it was, yeah it, it was I, a, it wasn't the worst movie i've ever seen am yeah. i gonna rush back to go watch it probably not i no. thought see but i thought some of the actions some of the action was was kind of cool to look at you know when he when that thing like bites off the general's head when he eats his fear because the, the monster feeds on your cortisol yep yeah see, it, which, but, which was fear yeah, and I will I will give it this. I felt like some of the explanations they gave like made it seem I was like, "Oh, I guess I could see how that happened." Like how they how they explained how the monster was able to go in and out without killing him. It's like, "Oh yeah, he just opens his esophagus and he releases this toxin that relaxes his whole body and knocks him unconscious." It's mm-hmm. like, "Oh. Okay." <laughs> okay. Like, <laughs> like, "Yeah, I got. It. All right." It's not like, "Oh, how, how do they do that?" Like <laughs> Obviously, it's not real, but I felt like they explained yeah. it. They explained it enough to where I didn't even have to question it, and they didn't have to. They didn't overdo it. They gave you one line yeah. and said, "Hey, you're watching a movie about an alien. Okay, we're on the same page. Okay. This, is how, yeah. this is how this thing comes out. That's that's just what happens." <laughs> yeah, yeah. And so I, I do I do agree with you. Like the alien itself and the explanation, like the science behind it. I never questioned any of that. Like all that just seemed like, yeah, alien movie. All right. You know, and then you made, you know, how this happens. I get all that. And, and it did throw me for a couple of a surprises. But I, like I said, the motivations is where kind of my, my struggle was. And it was kind of cool to see like the alien kind of just like devoured some guy's head. Like that's, that's, intense. I, that, that was intense. Yes. Um, and like the alien itself, it looked cool. Yeah. Like that was a cool looking alien. And I felt like every time you saw it, like you saw it advance a little bit more. Like at yes. first, it was like this little amphibian thing. Like it just had arms and like this tail. And all of a sudden, like then the tail split. Then the next time you see it, the tail split. And the next time you see it, it's kind of like like kind of like kind army crawling. And then by the end of the movie, this thing is like got four arms and standing up, standing above you. <laughs> like just to see that it, it grows and grows and grows, but it can shrink back down. I don't know. It wasn't like your typical alien. I felt like they put a lot of thought into creating the monster yes i do agree with you on that and like the the montage scenes of him of her like discovering what this alien is was also interesting to watch as well they kind of like discovering what this creature is and i think that's the best part about it but but then like i said i i feel like toward the end we started falling into like 
cliches of like the military is bad like and then ladies like we need to go to moscow because you're gonna have the proper resources i'm like but isn't that at the facility like isn't the proper resources at the facility and like you want to leave this area but in my head i'm like didn't you get here like on a helicopter like are you aren't you i feel like she was like on another island like like a, driving from a car is not gonna help you um see but i feel like they were referring to that place like like maybe that place is like like in D, like their DC, it's like you know their headquarters or their you know the. Mm-hmm. Cat, I feel like such a smart person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, they're 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 based. It's, they're I like mean, base well, of operations. It's, it's the capital, right? Moscow is the capital. So yes, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. So like you know maybe Moscow has like the Walter Reed of hospitals over there. So maybe, maybe that has but... like the the whole the whole all the country's resources are there. But also possibly take care of this thing. But what is she what like what is and I think this is also my frustration. Like, what do you think is going to happen when you get there? Like, hey, everybody, you got to help him. He has a fucking alien inside of him. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> it's like, like, oh, let's light him on fire. <laughs> right. It, it's like I don't understand. Like, and like you're so, I, you're supposed to be really smart, lady. And I don't know. I don't understand how going to Moscow and going to some random hospital is going to help you with that. But I think that. That was her hope, and I think that he knew that that nothing good was gonna happen, which is why, right. he, why he killed why he killed himself. Although I felt like with that big monster inside of him, I felt like they they should have showed us a little bit more. We could have gotten a little bit more, like even like a monster screaming out of his throat, or maybe yeah. a monster pouring out of his mouth, dead on the floor. So I I don't know. I would have liked to have gotten a little bit more than him just. Shooting himself, not even seeing the wound, and just kind of just hunching over. It. <laughs> or maybe, or maybe they had so much from all the other fight scenes they ran out of budget. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like how are we gonna kill him? I don't know, just hunch over. Like, all right, <laughs> just spear, oh, well, listen, we're just gonna throw a gunshot in there. You're just gonna hunch over, and that's how you're gonna die. <laughs> uh, but I agree with you. Like the, uh, it didn't feel like the monster was dead. It, it felt like they're setting up for Sputnik uh, Two. <laughs> Sputnik Two. I'm still alive. <laughs> um, but yeah, but then, you know, and and they threw in the uh, – what's the other thing? They threw in the uh, the, the kid involved. Yes. Like, which, that was a strange – that was like a strange thing that they threw in there. And, and then they uh, decided to have her adopt the child? Where? Yeah, and where, which, where, you, can, you can just walk up to the office and be like, hey, I'm going to adopt this kid. Yeah, here's the name. Right now, <laughs> and so like what? Like you said, you said this person by name, and you and the first time you met this child was was like when you right then and there. It, it, like maybe maybe customs are different in 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 Russia, so man, not not gonna shut on it for too much, but it felt off. Yeah. Of like why include the child into the mix, um, into the story where it didn't feel like it didn't feel like it needed to be there, and especially with the ending of her adopting the child. Yeah didn't feel like it needed to happen but like i said the alien was cool so yeah. i will give it that and like how we got to certain moments like the reveal of the uh what's it called the reveal of the alien kind of coming out of the body and like just feeding off of human spheres that was cool to watch as well uh but other than that that's kind of that's kind of it so, so yeah, I, I thought the adoption stuff was a little strange, the, ultimately, at the end of the day. It, it, it didn't feel like it needed to be in the movie. But, like I said, the alien stuff was cool. And I, I, so I like that part about it. But there were a couple of story elements and, like, character motivations that, that kind of threw me off the movie a little bit to make, he, make me really want to appreciate it for more than just an alien movie. Agreed. Yeah. Um, but uh, what... Any, anything else that you you know you, you liked about the movie or not liked about the movie? I mean, I would say I would say that I overall <clears throat> enjoyed it. Okay. Let me just grab my notes. I did. The score kind of gave me some some vibes from like Arrival. Oh. Those like those deep like those deep sounds. I felt like I was watching Arrival again. Yes, I I love the score here. I was about I, on the last thing I wrote in my notes. It's like the best part about this movie is the score. I love the music. I do agree with you on that. It was really good music. Um, also, I'm sorry, just go going back to the orphanage a little bit. Um, they had some small cutscenes with that, yeah, like with the child and like he wanted to get a box, but he was also in a wheelchair, but also he could walk. Um, and then also like at the end of the day, he knew it was in that box, and when he opened the box. 
the kid just wanted a fucking pair of shoes. Like, what? What? Like, you guys are so much of an asshole to not give this kid a pair of shoes? Like, I, I, I'm sorry. There was there was a disconnect there that I didn't quite understand of that whole, like, when they kept doing cutscenes about the kid in the orphanage. Like, again, the whole orphanage thing definitely did not work. Well, the kid in the wheelchair was was not him. It was the girl. Wait, what? Maybe. Wait. Are wait, you serious? Hold up. No, wait, wait, wait. You're, you're lying. No, 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 no. Don't tell me that you didn't know that. Wait. Don't tell me you didn't know that. Hold on. That's Hold the on. whole reason why she wanted to adopt the kid. It's because at the very end, she's like, hello. When she's like, oh, look, you walking, little fellow. It's like, and she turns around. She goes, my name's Tanya. And then literally the next scene is her adopting the little boy. And then oh the, boy, my the little God. boy says his name and she says, oh, my name's Tanya. She repeats that name instead of saying Tatiana like they've been calling her the whole movie. Yes. It was the one time she referred that she referred to herself in that name. Wow. I, you said Ooh. it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> wow. I did not. You know, and it was funny because uh, that scene happened. I'm like, that's weird. That That's not his name. And I just rolled with wow. it. <laughs> wow. Man. Okay, wow. So now, all right. So now knowing that. That's probably what was bothering you. Like the yeah. whole, you're like, hold on, let's go back to this orphanage thing. <laughs> yes. Okay. Knowing that information, the orphanage stuff makes sense now. I I, I rescind everything I said about the orphanage. So I, how I, do you feel about the ending of the movie? I mean, make a little bit more sense now. I, I, okay, it makes a little bit more sense, but did it need to happen? No. That that's kind of that's where I'm well, getting at. Well, then if they didn't have that whole adoption orphanage thing, then. He, that wouldn't have human. That was the one thing that humanized him. That is from correct. The monster, and that created a connection for her to want to be with him to get to that little. She felt connect. Obviously, felt connected to this little boy who was in the who was up for adoption. That is correct. I I will give you that there. I just felt like for maybe what the story was, maybe we could have chosen a different human element. Okay. That's than, fair. Than, than that, because I still felt like it was off, but. Man, does that make a whole lot of sense now? <laughs> I just felt like maybe they could have packed it tighter. Maybe yes. put some more fat off the film. I do agree with the that. Story in a little bit, then reworked it so that it, the story made sense. I just, maybe if it was like twenty minutes, twenty or thirty minutes, even thirty minutes shorter. Like yeah, you I, like you could have cut out the whole run, her running and that guy grabbing her. What the hell does that have? That literally has nothing to do with the movie. No, absolutely not. I I, I do agree with you. Like the movie was an hour and fifty minutes. It was a no, like, it was like hour fifty eight, wasn't it? You, or was it, it was. Let's well, double check. Wait, wait, now I'm going to IMDb and figure this out now. Um, it was an hour fifty three minutes. Okay, it hour fifty three. It definitely felt like two hours. Yeah, you could have you could have consolidated that to an hour and a half, and it would have been a much tighter story. Like really, just kind of focus it on the uh, really focus it on the 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 base and the alien aspect, and not much on the you know what else was going on. That's just my opinion. But. Would you? Is this a film you would expect from a first-time director? This is his first feature. Okay, I'll I'll I'll, I'll throw some points in there. Yeah. He's 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 directed two other shorts, and then in one in two thousand. And wow, what a gap! So the director's name is I'm gonna fuck this up. Okay. Um, Igor Abramenko. Okay. I'm sure, uh, I'm sure I missed. I'm sure. Better I than what I have said it. Yeah. So his first, he directed two shorts, one in 2008 called Polaroid Love, one in 2017 called The Passenger, and then in 2020, he directed Sputnik. Yeah, wow. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll give him points for being a first-time director, and like his first featured film. It, it was definitely a lot there, don't get me wrong. Yeah. I, it, I, we could have just gotten a little tighter. That, that I think I think that's kind of nailing on the head there. You know, cut off the fat in the story. Um, and then I, for me, just make the motivations of the characters a little bit clearer. Um, if you just come out with another one, I maybe, you know, I don't think you need to sequelize this. I would like to see another original take on this, uh, like mm. if, you know, of this director, you know, even take us back into space. But, um, yeah, I, I, at the end of the day, I thought it was all right. There was a lot of misses for me than there was like all the alien stuff. I feel like they, they really did well on. They nailed, uh, I feel, see, I was just about to say that. The strongest thing is the is the sci the strongest part for me about this film is the sci fi element. 
Like, yeah, I thought the absolutely. monster. I thought the monster was cool. I felt like everything they did. I felt like they they had the monster, and then they just they're like, all right, let's just build the story around this fucking monster. Yeah, I think I think you're right. <laughs> so I, that's kind of where I land on it. I I do think that you know the score was great and the monster was great, and then everything else was like subpar in my opinion. Okay. Um. And what about what about you? What's your what's your last thoughts? Um. Same. Sci-fi was great. It was a little long. Um, the story was, was, I, the story was a little, was good. It wasn't too bad for me. I think okay. for me, it was more the length that it, it was just, it just felt a little drawn out for me. And I think that's yeah. what made me notice all the other little, all the other little things. It made me notice is because it was a little bit longer than it should have been. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. So there you go. That's our foreign film of the month, Sputnik, uh, which is available to view on Hulu. If you do desire to watch it. Our first time doing a Russian film. Our first time doing a Russian film. That's exactly right. We've been kind of uh, dealing with the South Korean market a little bit. So it's nice to kind of branch out and do something else from the other regions of the world. Um, so, yeah, as, as always, if you want, we would love to hear your recommendations. Uh, thank you. Do, do you know who recommended this movie to us? I didn't hear it. It wasn't recommended to me. I heard it on a podcast. Oh, you heard it on a podcast? Oh. Yeah. You can right. shit on the movie. It'll uh, <laughs> oh, I thought it was recommended to you. All right, well then. It was recommended to me from a podcast. On, 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 from a podcast, yes. <laughs> um, all right, well then, thank you to the podcast uh, for, for allowing us to watch it. But um, uh, we want to hear recommendations from you. If you have other foreign films that you think we should be watching, hit us up on our social media channels or email us at boxofficebingers at gmail.com. Uh, we will love to hear your recommendations and then we can talk about those films on future episodes. Hey, thanks for listening to this edited version of our weekly podcast, Box Office Bingers. If you want to hear the full version of all of our episodes, which includes us discussing entertainment news, movie and TV reviews, guest interviews, and other things we've been watching, You can find us on wherever you listen to podcasts. And if you want more from us, be sure to hit that subscribe button and find us on our social media channels on Instagram at box office underscore bingers, Facebook at box office bingers, email at box office bingers at gmail.com. And Matt, we're even on the Tiki Takis. We're on the Tiki Takis at box office bingers. Once again, thanks for listening.